Uh, hi guys, it's Javiation here, and today I'm going to be in X-Plane demonstrating the landing technique that I like to use uh, to get the softest and most central landings. So, it's quite difficult to do this, and I've only very recently made some changes to my technique. So, in this first video, I will be in uh, X-Plane 11 and demonstrating how you can make the perfectly sent not perfectly central but more central landings and in the next video i'll be over in p3d uh demonstrating how to make the smoother landings i just find they're better um respectively there's less head shake in p3d and but it's easier to just keep reconfiguring in x-plane so i am going to uh where I was over at RAF Kenley the other day, so we'll go there and we'll start off in the um, Cessna 172. It, they'll all be three nautical mile approaches, and I will demonstrate the technique that I like to use. So, and also the uh, so I was actually um, on a gliding sim over at Kenley on a ground school day, it was a brilliant time with the RAF cadets and the I'll give you instructor's technique it was pretty similar to what I was doing anyway in um, lighter aircraft so I'll show you how to do it in lighter aircraft and I'll show you how to do it in the heavier aircraft next video and then maybe I'll do a third video depending on how the next one goes uh, on how you can combine the two so we're just going to, okay, that, well, this shouldn't be too problematic. So we're just going to start the flight here. And just whilst I'm thinking about it, if you do have a piece of string or anything, it is well worth tying if without damaging your monitor. And this is only my recommendation. Don't sue me if you break your monitor doing it. But just drop a little piece of string down the center of your screen monitor so that you can see where the center line of your monitor is because in the uh big sims that i've been in and when i've been flying realistically it's a lot easier to get the your head around where you are in relation to the runway um but in the simulators uh like these desktop simulators so i'm single monitor um it is better to um, know right where the center of your screen is because it's actually not you that not you you can't feel where the aircraft's moving um, so that's always useful to have it visualized uh, there is always the option as well that you can um, use the screen overlay I don't have any issues with that technique I just think it's a little bit harder to do so hopefully we'll be loading we will be loading in soon so i'll probably stay at raf uh kenley purely because that's what's going to be loaded in. i chose it specifically because it should be too that there and retie to my joystick okay that's better sorry about that there um i will hopefully edit that out so uh it's going to be over the uh, the um, hood of the aircraft, if you like. So you're going to want to, I think, in Cessna, using the artificial horizon, the two top little triangles, right angle triangles at the top of the artificial horizon. I think they're fairly good in Cessna for um, keeping the runway in line. So you want that to be in line with the runway centre. Um, because in the it's, it's more the centre of your side of the aircraft, but because aircraft aren't actually that wide, in the um, it doesn't really make a huge difference, especially with larger aircraft. So I'll show you probably next episode. 
so. So we're just keeping the wings straight. I hear um little help. going to start producing the um, We're going to bring out the fox. Currently I'm flying the joystick, hopefully I'll be using the yoke uh, soon. So hopefully that will load in relatively quickly. Done. Very quickly. So in this aircraft there, I chose this one uh, partly because of the um, issue. The size of it is a little bit bigger than the Tesla, but also because of one thing you can probably see now, there's nothing really that you can use to divide your screen up. So now, you'd be looking from the top and bottom of your monitor. Uh, so I've got a Dell logo, so it's just on the very end of the E, I know it's the centre of my monitor. Never in lighter aircraft be afraid to have a little bit of pitch down. In the glider sim the other day, I, we were pitched down for most of the approach to about, I think, 50 feet. It's just, I mean, it, that was in the glider, so it's harder to lose speed. It's just sometimes what you need. Um, in the larger sims with bigger aircraft, it can be often hard to control. The aircraft in a down pitch, and you can also lose control of the speed. So Five, now we're hundred. just use it, um, moving to a little bit to the right, as you can see. That's because I feel that it's not quite in the centre of my monitor. And when I talk about it, I mean the runway centre. So when it's you want it um, in the uh, gliding sim. We were taught we want the centre line when we land to be coming between our legs. 
So if you think about that with the sim, it is in a one in front, one back, so you are in the centre of the glider. But that nor normally would be good in most aircraft of by aircraft. So just think about that if you've got more screens or something. Slightly further over the runway, just more of the trees and things. Flat. And in smaller aircraft, there's no real need to bring the nose down in the flare yourself. In the 747s and whatnot, A320, literally anything with two jet engine, two large jets, um, I would recommend you do so. So that landing, I noticed I came a little bit off to the left during the landing, but do we have a replay mode explain? No, I don't think we do. Uh, if you do know of how to replay in X Plane, then please uh, pop that down in the subscription. That would be greatly subscription description. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so I've hit the wrong bot button there, and now my sim's frozen. <laughs> okay, that's better. Just going to up the ante. Uh, okay, so that's not an issue for me. Let that just recalibrate itself, and I will then very quickly show you that landing in maybe a small dual and dual prop aircraft. Okay, so we are but now back in flight config and we will go to Baron or King Air. Uh we ought to have a Piper PA twenty eight and that would be nice. Okay, we'll start that new flight. Ning Piper PA two eight on. Check the externals. Okay, we're just going to. Sorry about that bad setup, good bridge. We're coming, still coming in central of the monitor. So we're going to be a little bit. 
right? So now you can make very, very, very many answers than most one you can see. But slight, slight adjustments for the body. That was a very hard landing on the jeans, but that was something out with the rudder. But that was very, very central to the runway. So I hope you all get what I'm getting at. Um, and yeah, I hope this video is useful. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Uh, it's always appreciated if you can subscribe. Uh, and especially if you join the notification group, um, I, I wouldn't stress any compulsion. So, uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and yeah, see you in the next video.